Hi guys, my name is Jasmine and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to rock pastel colors on dark skin because that's what I have. Of course, anybody of any skin tone can do this makeup look, but I want to help my dark skin people out so that pastels don't look ashy on us. As you can see, this is far from ashy, okay? So if you want to learn how to get this look, please keep on watching. So the first thing that is key to rocking pastel shadow on dark skin is your base. I used the Essence I Heart Stage eyeshadow base as usual. I've been loving this one lately. It's not completely white as you can see, but it is lighter than my skin tone. You don't have to use a base that's completely white, just lighter than your skin tone significantly. Clearly this is not my skin color, girl. That's what I recommend when using any type of color but especially for pastels especially if you're doing an all pastel look that's not what we're doing today but if you're doing a look that's all pastel you need a good base so i'm sorry i did that without you but yeah let's get started just gonna blend out some of these creases. i have two main palettes that i want to go in today the first one is the just my luck eyeshadow palette by ColourPop. i'll show you what she looks like on the inside um, hopefully none of these fall out. This palette I've had for a long time and some of the shadows have fallen out of the pan so hopefully none of them fall out but that's what this palette looks like. Really pretty just green palette and I'm also going to be using the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette just because I think I like the pastel green, the one in the top middle here. I like that one more than the pastel green in the ColourPop palette. Per I don't know why. Personally, I just don't like it. If you have this palette, you can definitely use that color, but she's not giving, in my opinion. She's not giving for this look. So, we're gonna start with the ColourPop Just My Luck palette, and the first color I'm going to go into is the one in the middle here called Mary Jane. It's just a nice, deep green. And I'm just going to pack this into my crease. The next color that I'm going to go into is the one at the middle top called Kiss My Hass. Kiss my house. Girl. <laughs> and I'm just going to use that color to blend out Mary Jane. Just the edges. This color is almost a pastel green, but it's not. It pretty much is. Now that I'm looking at it on my eye, it is pretty pastel, but it's not very light to where it looks ashy. Because if you think about it, pastels tend to be honestly they're ashy they're ashy and that's why i think people with darker skin tones are afraid to use them but we literally can use any color any color girl we can use any color we want we just have to know how to make it work so that it does not look ashy you know what i'm saying so just blending that out. I'm going to go back into Mary Jane just to deepen the crease again because when we're blending sometimes we tend to lose the color. As you can see this palette has some kickback which is okay. It's still that's okay with me. I'm going to dip a little bit into So So up here as well mixing that with Mary Jane just so the green is as deep as possible and we're just going to use that to redefine the crease again. When you guys are blending your eyeshadow, do you have an eye that you prefer? I feel like mine changes, but today I think I'm liking how this eye is looking better than this eye. Both look cute, but I don't know, I feel this one is turning out a little neater than the other eye, but it will all 
come together at the end. Now I'm going to cut my crease with the same eyeshadow bra brace base that I used before, which is just the Essence I Heart Stayed eyeshadow base. I'm going to use the same deep green shade that I used in my crease called Mary Jane and I'm just going to use that to deepen the outer corner and blend the end of the cut crease. After that, now we're going to go into the pastel color what everybody is here for. You could use Chances Are, which is the pastel shade in the Just My Love palette if you have this palette, but as I said before, I don't really, I'm not really feeling her. So I'm going to go into the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette and I'm just going to use the pastel green on the top row in the middle and I'm just going to pack the pastel green onto the brush and then just put it where we placed the eyeshadow base after that is placed I'm going to use my brush that I used for that deep green shade to just further blend the edges I also took it upon myself to take my brush that I used for the crease and I just wiggled it around where I cut my crease. This just makes the shadow appear softer, which I think is really pretty with pastel colors like this. And that is it for the eye look for now. We can go back in my lashes and stuff later. Now we're going to move on to the face and my face is feeling really dry so I need to moisturize. This is the closest moisturizer to me. This is the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. I really like the packaging of this. This was kindly sent to me by Drunk Elephant so thank you for sending this to me. This was sent to me a couple of months ago and I've only recently started using it and I actually really like it and I absolutely love the packaging basically all you do can you see that basically all you do is you just push it down and then the product comes out I think that is so cute I'm just gonna moisturize my face really quick one of my favorite moisturizers ever is the milk makeup vegan milk moisturizer that one is definitely less expensive than the drunk elephant one but that one is all the way in the bathroom and I did not want to get up to go and get it so I just used the one that was closest to me. Recently I've been loving the new Black Radiance primers. Today I'm going to be using the Matte and Poreless primer as well as the Hydrate and Blur primer. I think these primers are amazing, they're super affordable and I've been using them all the time. So I'm going to use the Hydrate and Blur on like most of my face and then the matte and poreless on the areas where I tend to get a little bit more oily. Now today I actually think I want to color correct a little bit. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 440 to color correct around my lips and like the lower half of my face. It's a little bit darker here. Sometimes I would use it under my eyes but... Praise be to God that I don't look as dark under my eyes. So I just use a little bit around my mouth. Literally, I just said that. <laughs> and I just blend it out with a beauty sponge. Beauty sponge. I can't talk today. I don't always color correct, but sometimes I like to. Sometimes it's not really always necessary, but I was feeling it today. This is looking like a mustache and beard. <laughs> I think that helps to like balance everything out a little bit more. As a black girl, especially a dark skinned girl, my face is all different colors. So, if 
if I don't want to use as much foundation if I don't want to use as much foundation color correcting really helps and today I'm going to be using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation in the shade Mocha. I've been reaching for this foundation a lot recently. I don't know why, I've just been loving this foundation. Like, she's amazing and I've had her for so long and I just would not use her as much. But now, she's getting the recognition that she deserves from me. To contour, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer in the shade Toffee Tees. I pulled this out from the back of my makeup drawer. I have not used this in a minute. I don't even know if I have the right brush for this. Let's see. For my concealer, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 410 as well as the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 22 to highlight a little bit more. If my camera ang angle, I was about to say angel, my camera angle is changing a lot, please excuse that. My, I'm having technical difficulties today. I don't know why everything is just playing with me and I'm not the one to be played with today. I don't, I just don't know what's going on. So you may or may not notice, but if my camera angle is changing a lot, then that is why I think I fixed it, but. That was irritating me a lot just now. I just spent like 10 minutes trying to fix it. Now to set my face, I'm going to use my favorite setting powder ever. This is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in the shade Blondie. I have been loving Blondie lately. I got it a little while ago. If you watch some of my older videos, you know I used to use um, Kunafa, which was nice. That was a nice... um yellow shade but this one is a little bit um what's it called lighter and y'all know i love a bright under eye as you can see so i really love to use that i really love to use this powder to make my under eye as bright as possible it just melts into the skin it just looks so beautiful and i like to get this little mini makeup sponge and use that to bake the part of my eye that I highlight and also the sides and the bridge of my nose and it's just a dry sponge I don't wet it now to bronze I'm going to be using the morphe glamour bronze face and body bronzer in the shade leader this is what it looks like it's a gigantic bronzer this is another old favorite of mine I used to use this bronzer all the time and then I got a bunch of new ones. I was really obsessed with the, and I still am really obsessed with the Makeup Revolution br um, bronzer that I'm using right now. This one is amazing as well. And they even have a shade darker than this called Prodigy, I believe. I want to get that one too, it's like a powder contour. I'm also going to use it to contour my nose. I don't wipe, actually, I usually, not usually, sometimes I don't wipe away the powder before contouring my nose, but I think today I'm going to do that. And the reason why I bake before I contour my nose is because I think it provides like almost like a um, guideline for where to contour rather than like cleaning it up. I don't really think that does anything on my face personally, so I like to 
bake the sides of my nose before I actually contour it. Or sometimes I'll leave the powder and contour, but today I'm gonna wipe it away. And I really blend the powder into the nose so that it doesn't have any harsh lines. But you can still see a little bit of a contour. I don't know if it's showing up on camera as much, but it basically just provides a guideline for where you contour your nose. For my blush today, I'm going to go into the Please Don't Judge, it's a little bit dirty. This is the Juvia's Place Lisa Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette. I usually use the Volume 1, but today, for spring, I'm feeling this light pink down here called Lena. It's just a really pretty pale pink color. I just think pale pinks- oh! Okay, so we put a lot. I just think pale pinks like this are really really pretty for spring and as you can see really blendable because at first that was a little scurry looking but these blushes just blend really nice and look so beautiful on all skin tones now to highlight i'm just gonna highlight am i gonna highlight my face no i'm gonna highlight my nose and my cupid's bow and i'm going to go to go into the color zoha in the same palette right here that's just a nice pale pink highlighter i think that will make this look really really cute and it shows up almost like a rose gold type of shade it's not like silver I don't know if you can even see on camera but it's a really cute color going back into the just my luck palette I'm going to use the shades Mary Jane and kiss my Hass to smoke out the lower lash line and then I'm thinking I'm also going to put some of this NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick in my waterline. This is in the shade Pure White. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm going to put on my mascara and lashes. I'm going to be using my favorite mascara this is the milk makeup kush mascara i finally have a full size of this mascara glory be to god like i love this mascara it's one of my all-time favorite ones Lastly, moving on to lips, I'm going to use my two favorite lip liners, which are the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Dimensional Dark Brown and the Juvia's Place Lip Liner in the shade Cola. For my lipstick, I'm going to be using the MAC lipstick in the shade Whirl. This is one of my favorite lipsticks. It's a really nice pink nude, and I'm just going to apply this to the center. For my lip gloss, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Cream in the shade Fenty Glow. And here's the completed look. I added some green rhinestones to spice up the look a little bit. I also decided I want this look to be a little bit lighter. So I got this Wet n Wild Fantasy Markers lip gloss in the shade Wanderlust and I'm just going to apply this to my lips. Here is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you to rock pastel colors a little bit easier. This look can be done with literally any pastel color whether it's green, 
purple, blue, yellow, anything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Turn on the post notifications so you don't miss another video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!